All right, recording. Okay, thank you. And welcome back, Ara, the chapter lead of HR. So let's get started. Uh, I will be the chair and she will be the secretary, I believe. So I already shared, shared the Trello card here. Let's just get started with the campaign first. I believe the first uh, stack will be uh, new employee request hiring digital marketing over to Ara or Shin prob uh, probably who just replaced uh, Ara uh, yesterday. Over, over to you Shin. Um, so far there is no change. Um, I think there is a change in applicants as in there are more applicants applying, three more. Um, but first interview candidates and on-site trial applicants uh, are still the same number. So there are no changes in that. Yeah, that's for the digital marketing side. Okay, Ren, thank you for uh, for the updates. Uh, Shin, I noticed that you haven't uh, updated the cover, yeah, if I'm not uh, mistaken. Yeah, you haven't uh, updated the cover, but the funnel is updated. So next time, oh, maybe... because I thought Ara is back, so Ara is the champion <laughs> of the funnel. <laughs> okay, I will update okay, it. Okay, then. Okay, then. Thank you, Shin. Uh, yeah, later after this, Ara will be the one who updated that. So, yeah. Thank you for the update. Let's move to the next tag, uh, which is Shellin. So this is a new uh, new employee request field marketing specialist. I believe it is a continuation or extension from Villa Finder uh, freelancer, right? So maybe you can bring us uh, further updates and details about this. Over to you, Shellin. Um, okay, thank you, Miss Chair. So um, I just created this card um, yesterday. So uh, we need people to do canvassing consistently. But um, we posted on LinkedIn and currently we have um, around 75 um, applicants in our email. But I think um, for the system, for the for the flower recruitment for this position, I need, I think we need to have um, a discussion which I already put it in the discussion management paper. I think um, this position will have some um, special arrangement. It's not like um, it's not like the usual um, recruitment flow as the other positions. So yeah, okay. I'll bring this to discussion later. And also um, continuing to um, PD chapter. Um, distribution post has increased into five and we have um, one more applicant, um, one product owner and five uh, UI UX designer. And mm -hmm. for first interview candidates, we have three uh, for the UI UX uh, designer position. That's the update. Thank you. Okay, thank you for the update, Shailene. Uh Just to clarify again, so for the uh, field, uh, field marketing specialist, uh, is there is the job description already settled or uh, not yet? I believe it's already settled, right? For the job um, description, the job description is still the same as the one in Lincoln, um, mm -hmm. but can bring this up during discussion later. Okay then. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So, thank you for the update. Uh, next, uh, next step is mine. New employee uh, request HR. So. Uh, for the top funnel distribution post, there is one additional uh, distribution post. Oh, and then for the applicants, I believe from eight, uh, apa, 18 to 20 as of uh, 12 October. And for the first interview candidates on site and on site trial, applicant is still three. Uh, it's still the same, I mean, I'm sorry. So, yeah, that's the update for the HRR campaign. And move to the next tag, uh, which is hiring finance. Uh, maybe over to Shin again. Is there any additional update regarding this? Yes. Um, okay. Uh, I think there is an increase in um, interview candidates by... Uh, sorry, my screen is lagging. <laughs> yeah, by four. But uh, okay. on-site is still the same. Yeah, because mm -hmm. there are still um candidates in the pipeline that um 
haven't been interviewed yet. So yeah, that's right. Yeah, mm. so that's all for the finance update. But uh, for the applicant side, I think there are still applicants coming in, even though the brand awareness has been stopped. So I think that's a good thing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, thank you for the updates. Uh, maybe it's a quick heads up to Ara, yeah, since uh, Ara took uh, some day off yesterday. So we decided to stop the top funnels, which is the applicants or brand awareness funnel. Since uh, we, uh, the reason, because we uh, we already see the these things uh, going on fluently. I mean, uh, the brand awareness is running organically now so we we in this in this campaign we just focus on uh on site trial candidates and oh, i mean onboarding process and also the updates of interview candidates so that's pretty much it uh Ara, for uh, this particular campaign and i think for the last card which is awareness on hiring villa finder freelancer i believe we need to ar archive this is is that true shalin yeah Please archive this year because um, uh, we already extend the campaign to the field marketing specialists, uh, not fill out find their freelancer again. So yeah, that's it. Let's move to the next tag. Uh, main project supporting campaigns uh, starting for for the, uh, from the ESS over to Shelin. <coughs> Okay, um, for employee engagement survey, so far we have um, 15 responses. But um, I think we can discuss it on Wednesday. I think, um, yeah, since um, I think, yeah, we need to wait for like um, two, two or a couple of people to fill this up and then I'll bring the discussion next Wednesday. Okay, then. Uh, thank you for the update. So uh, we will cover that on Wednesday, yeah? And for the next main project, uh, main campaign supporting project, uh, main project supporting campaign, I'm sorry, it's uh, Bukitista Webinar Service Programming Interns. So over to you, sir. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I forgot to drop in the latest uh, clicks. Actually, I've asked Cynthia for it, but we have 432 clicks on the link. Wow. Uh, not wow yet, right? Clicks don't oh. necessarily mean registrations. So I'm asking okay. Cynthia to, to post the registration. She said it's more than 100 so far. That's all. Yeah. Oh, 144. Thank you. Thank you, Shin. OK, <laughs> uh, which is great. And I really have actually discovered quite a lot of insights from, from doing this that I'd like to discuss about today in HR. There's a lot that we can do to make BVE Talk even better than what it is at the moment, right? Mm -hmm. um, it is a really good platform. It should be improved. And I have a few tips on it to to get it, I think, more uh, more strong. Um, so, anyways, we'll, we'll, uh, that one I think we can talk about later at the HR discussion. I'll talk about improvement ideas for BBE talks. Okay, thank you, sir, for giving your updates and communicating uh, your uh, another idea for for this particular program. So, uh, for the next text about digital marketing BBE talk, is there any further updates, sir? Uh, oh yeah, that's, that's the oh, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. That's yeah. Um so the current update is that um Jing, um you have actually reached out to a few um marketing clubs, right? Mm -hmm. To co-hosts. Have they gotten back? They have not. Um but it's <laughs> it's normal. <laughs> okay, so um uh actually uh SIM um innovation and networking society like has uh uh said that like they uh, don't mind collaborating with sure. us Let's bring so it we got one okay i guess Good. yeah mm -hmm. so um i already put it uh, in the update um in the bbe talk 7 so i think uh we can continue to um outreach to co-hosts as well as the audiences as well yeah so yeah that's all i think yeah that's all for update for that Okay, thank you, Shin. Oh, I would like to uh, reassure again. So uh, I'm about to send this term of reference file or tour file to uh, the the three candidates of speakers for this uh, digital marketing BV talk, right? But in in term of reference file, we usually attach the topic of discussion, a list of topic of discussion. So it's different with the uh, even team, even them. Okay. Uh, 
yeah, it's different with the event's name. It's it's, it's more like a, a list of questions that a, a big question that we that the speakers uh, need to answer during the session. So I wonder who's in charge in uh, you know making that and uh, and is it moderator or yeah you know. Um, maybe over to Jing since you are the moderator. I don't know. Uh, what was the question again, uh, Kiki? Sorry. Okay. So, um, I'm about to send this term of reference file. Yeah, put me in as a moderator. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, but uh, uh, what I mean is in, in the Tor file, in this term of reference file, I usually attach uh, some of the topic discussion. It's pretty much like a general questions that the speakers need to answer during this BFE talk session. Uh, uh, just uh, don't put that in at this moment because what we're doing is we sort of, it's it's a little bit chicken and the egg, right? So okay. it depends a lot on, okay, if we, actually it's pretty simple. It's just like, how do you make search marketing? Pay? It's, it's okay. exactly what we covered actually during our talks with Osborne and, uh, and Ferdy. So just those questions we're sharing. With oh, so, okay, so I just make a general questions, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a four or five uh, topic of discussion. It's to to make them uh, get the general idea of this. Yep, of this that's conversation. fine. Okay, then thank you. I'll I'll put that. So thank you for the update, Shin, and thank you for the answer, uh, Miss Miss Aba Jing. And next of what? Next. Uh, sorry, Kiki, I need to ask something. Yeah, Shin. Uh, so have you confirmed the dates already? Uh, I mean the timing already for the PV Talk Seven. With the speakers, uh, uh, the speaker already aware that it will be twenty eighth October. I already contacted them, but uh, for the time mm -hmm. we haven't decided yet. The time, I mean the the uh, whether it will be five or six. Uh, apart. Yeah. Singapore time, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Still under the discussion. Okay. Thank for you. The time. Okay. Oh, you're welcome. Um, for let's move to the next stack, which is. A BFE talk in UGM virtual job fair. So for this, uh, we got, I believe we got a, a new applicants actually from 24 to 28, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, uh, Shalin. And also for the trial candidates, we got two that knowing us from uh, UGM job fair and semester UGM, uh, which is Ausan and Fona. Awesome. I've already I've already seen him, but for Fona, I don't know which one is Fona. Maybe over to Ara or Shelin, who, who's uh, apa namanya, who who's in charge for onboarding. Um, I think Fona will come. Yeah, in the next batch of. Uh, oh, I see. I see. Because in the in the candidate tracking, I saw Fona will uh, will onboard uh, on eight October. But yeah, but okay. Thank you for conf confirming. Next is um wait oh yeah so for the main project supporting campaign it's already done maybe I would like to go to the friction from uh, each of you guys that might face lately from my side I I have no particular frictions uh lately see maybe over to Shelly and Shelly from your project is there anything that you would like to discuss further. Um, okay, so on one of my cards, which is the com the HRB.6 company-wide implementation on of non-disclosure agreement, um, I already um, make an EverSign account for the careers email, but okay. it's still it's still a free account, so it can only send uh five like five contracts per month. So I was considering whether we should the uh, use like the property partners email since it like we already subscribe a plan there and like it has unlimited number of documents that we can send mm -hmm. or alternatively i can like send the nda directly through the careers email but i need to find ways to make sure that uh jing sign like cannot be used for like any other purposes like other than this so yeah that's my friction okay Maybe over to you, sir. Sir, uh, is it possible to actually, you know, to 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 create the ever sign in careers email or? Uh, okay. So we have we have I guess a little bit of uh, 
uh, these are NDAs inside the company, right, uh, Shaylin? So, okay. I guess mm, that's a little bit messy because it's not thematically correct. But let's just say in the interest of making it making it simple. Um, probably do it just from the property partners, okay? Um, do it from property partners in that way. Because Eversign as a platform exactly re addresses that issue of, let's say, my signature being used for things that are not quite in it. So Eversign itself is keeping track of who's signing what, right? If somebody wanted to copy the signature, um, guess what? This is the internet, right? So they can, they can copy it and paste it, and it doesn't even need – you don't even need good Photoshop skills to be able to do that anymore. So what creates – uh, a document or a, a legal contract these days is either it's through Eversign, which is tight, or it's through an email and then you have to like both say approve, approve on the email and then it's done. So just in the interest of keeping it a little bit more simple, we'll just stick to Eversign as our primary way of keeping documentation together. And yes, it is a little bit messy because it's coming from the property partners rather than from careers. but. Given given the, the the prioritization, I'll prioritize um, having it in Eversign over having it from a different email. All right. Okay. Okay then. So, uh, Shelin, I think the uh, the conclusion is we we can use the property partners email right from right uh, from now on. So yeah, I hope it's uh, answering your friction. Is there any further friction? From mm, your side, yeah. No, that's all. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for Cynthia score. I think there's no particular update. Yeah, I will just keep that for a moment and over to wait. Maybe over to Ara. Ara. Okay, thank you. Uh for my side, um specifically for employee journal, my my friction is that um, some people are not filling out the journals up until the 5th of early of the month, right? So I think that needs to be more disciplined to everyone that they need to update their OKRs by that uh, before 5th of each month. And then um, uh, the reflection is that maybe I'd like to know, uh, I just, I read on the board and I see my name is no longer tagged on the next BPE talk, right? So I have to coordinate with Sin as the one in charge for BPE talk 7 on which exactly should I in charge in the funnel? Is it just the lead generator or um, is there another thing that I will be in charge with? Because, yeah, I see that my name is untagged. But, yeah, that's pretty much not really frictions, but I will need to have a discussion with Sin. Yes, sir? Yes, sir. Uh, it's not that you're not tagged, Ara. It's because Shin jumped in on everything that you were doing before, right? So mm -hmm. Shin just replaced Ara for last week. So if you want back in or something, <laughs> then just discuss with Shin about how the yes. duration of that will will sit. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. I'll have a discussion with Shin for that. Okay, okay then. Okay then, thank you, Ara. I think uh, for the beefy talk, yes, you can uh, discuss that further with and maybe over to um, to you, Jing. Okay, my frictions. Um, not really too much. I think Vista Project Award, I might start, there was a discussion about last time whether or not it was happening too high frequency and becoming gimmicky rather than becoming actually something that was long term. So I'm thinking about the, a new sequencing. We might do it once every two months or once every quarter. So that that's that's sitting on my mind. Um, the other one is this is currently stuck. I just had a discussion with community about it. There's just not enough follow-up in community, it seems, to actually push programs ahead. So we had two times when we do this and this is now stopped, right? Um, anyway, so uh, my friction is outside the chapter right now. Uh, nothing within the chapter. Uh, back to the chair. Hmm, okay, thank you, sir, for uh, for the updates and for uh, for giving your reflections, sir. I I, I want to ask. I don't know whether it's related or not, but I remember that uh, for the Bukit Vista Project Awards, we have discussed this like several weeks ago, if I'm not mistaken, that we want to reward uh, 
beyond money. I mean, like uh, apa sih? Example, yeah, like simple simple stuff like coffee or just you know parcel and stuff like that. Ah, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. that's right, that's right, that's right. Um, have we a day off? More day off? Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, that's that's cool. Actually, that's that's yeah, a really so. good reward. That's a perfect reward, actually. Whatever you should be creating something that that sort of automates yourself, right? In some way. So so that would be actually a pretty good that that reduces your need okay. to be constantly involved. I agree. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, do you want to apply that or do you want to execute that for uh, this month Vista Project Awards or just next Vista I, Project Awards? I, like I like the idea. Um, let's discuss about it today and figure out what type of, of new reward we can throw into the Vista Project Awards. Yeah. Okay, uh, then. Okay, the Mr. Secretary, please put that in the right. HR discussion management. Uh, thank you, sir, for your update. And over to Shin's stack, I believe. Shin, is there any friction from your side? Uh, no friction, but I got a question. So uh, on the BB Hall of Fame, I think Jing that uh, previously was mentioning to put uh, the video, the farewell video for Caroline and Alitia in. So I wanted to ask, like, how will it look like? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, to, to actually uh, summarize, uh, Shen, I have a new uh, title on the website. So we put everything into one super heading called career development. So yeah, I saw it. Yeah, inside career development are the jobs, BVE talk, Hall of Fame, start masterclass or professional network, and the blog. So ideally, I think... I think it should be an edited cut, right? It, it, nobody wants to watch the whole thing, right? That's that's a little bit too too overwhelming. So I think it should just be kind of like quickly edited to just get the highlights, right? Um, in much the same way that actually we oh god that this is kind of a, a didn't we do that for Ara and Cynthia's anniversary or uh, Ara and uh, Nadine's anniversary? We made a short little video, so. Kind of like that, and then we can post in the Hall of Fame. Does that make sense? Uh, but I thought like Hall of Fame was for like leaving employees. Uh, no, it can be for interns too. Oh yeah, yeah, leaving, yeah. leaving interns and leaving employees. Yeah. So it's just the video there, is it, or like how do you? I would okay for formatting. Refer to what we have in Startup Masterclass. I think that would be kind of like a good sort of gallery, like a gallery, three or four columns wide, and we put the person's, let's say, either a picture or a video up on the uh, up on their gallery with just some words of why we think they're awesome, um, if they won any project awards, and, and just like that as a prototype. But for, okay, once again, back to the whole idea, something is better than nothing. I figure at this point, you can probably just put like maybe a snippet of the video, or just put the whole video up. Just put the whole video up until we figure out what what to do next. Because this probably needs us to take a step to figure out what the next step is. If we don't make any steps, then we never we never really really progress. So okay. yeah, I see that you have uh, you have the page up. Uh, it's not complete, but okay, good good first step. Um, in addition to the person's name. And LinkedIn, I think you could also probably put their photo there at the very least, or like a video celebrating them. Um, that would be kind of cool too. So yeah, that's that. That looks pretty good. The only thing I would advise is uh, maybe a background. It looks like it looks kind of like heaven. You know, it's all white on the back. It looks like these people died. So. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, it's sort of like shocking. It's like doom, all white, but um, but yeah, I mean that's a stylistic thing. Uh, you could put maybe like a group photo of everyone happy or or whatever else. Yeah. So okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay then. Uh, I think she think can take note of that. If there's any materials for, for example, like uh, uh, ex employees photo stack or you know day doing activities and stuff you can ask probably marketing chapter or or we are in HR half that so I don't know. Do we have like an employees photo stack like their activities and oh we have actually. Just share it, yeah. Just ask and then we share it and then Okay then. 
Okay, then you can ask further with Jing or probably marketing team yeah regarding the photo stack or if if or uh, if if it's necessary for for the BV uh, apa Hall of Fame webs uh, apa job eh page. Okay, thank you, uh, Shin for uh, the updates. I think we already covered all uh, all of our cards. Let's just move to the HR discussion management paper. Shin, could you please share your screen? Thank you. <coughs> mm, okay. Okay, thank you. I think we need to prioritize uh, Shalin, uh, Shalin's discussion first and then second Jing's discussion regarding this e talk, yeah? Because, okay, let's just prioritize the field, field marketing specials recruitment flow. So, uh, Shalin, over to you. Could you tell us uh, more about this? What would you like to discover, actually? Okay, uh, thank you, Kiki. So, um, we have this new um, request from Moyana to have um, like a, to have people to do like constant canvassing to find villas. So, um, hence uh, we. Have we have this um, field marketing specialist position. Um, we already post this on LinkedIn and we currently have received more than 70 CVs in our email. So um, it, doesn't, it doesn't go to the candidate tracking on Trello. So um, we currently we have it like we filter it on our own like in the email. So um, the one thing that I'm confused with this is is the flow of recruitment since like it's not it's not really the same as um, what we used to do in like candidate tracking so um jing actually um proposed the flow like the recruit recruitment flow as this so firstly it's screening and then set expectation and trial so yeah oh, uh, that's the time to answer, i think okay so i wonder maybe over to you to you sir i wonder why you uh apa why you suggest this new recruitment flow with careers uh, okay. without? Uh, uh, quick, quick suggestion, because this is a temp role. This is not a role that we expect should be, unless the person is really, really good, right? Um, uh, this is probably a three month to two month role. Meaning, essentially after that time period, most of what's in the market that we haven't found will be found anyway. So that's that's essentially why we just need a more fast, more efficient way of doing this. Okay, so this is all we really expect. Um, screening is very simple. It's just, are you in Bali? And do you have like a business background? Or do you lean towards a business background? If yes, then we tell you that, okay, if yes, then you're screened in. If no, then screened out. So it doesn't make sense if somebody's in, let's say Sumatra, this is not a remote work opportunity. You have to be in Bali to do it. Second, we have to set the expectations. This is hard work. This is essentially door-to-door -door sales, right? So if you want to do it, then try. If you don't, then drop out because otherwise it's, it's – let them know that it's not going to be easy. It requires uh, endurance. They need to work through sun, rain. It's outdoor job. Some people like outdoor jobs, so maybe this is good. Um, and it will involve a lot of time being um, sort of scootering around. Three, trials. Uh, the way I see it is that Rizal and Wayana will have canvassing expeditions every week on a certain day. So then whoever is in this program, they just go out during that expedition and they bring in leads. If they bring in leads, then we can hire them. If they can't bring in leads, then we don't. So it's, it's essentially just, it's, it's essentially like this. Since Rizal and Wayana are going to go canvassing anyway, we are trying to find a successor to that, that program because Rizal can't do it full time and Wayana shouldn't be doing it full time either. So what this is, is essentially just, we hope that uh, kind of like intern uh, onboarding ARA. So every month we have like one batch. So this should be like every week we send a batch in and if they make it, great. If they not, then rotate to the next batch. Okay. Hey. Interesting. Uh, maybe over to Ara. Yeah, Ara. So this is a new recruitment flow that uh, Jing suggests. Actually, um, I wonder uh, from your side, does it affect the onboarding program and stuff? 
is yeah. um, in a way of uh, since this is temporary as stated uh -huh. and in a way of hr me do or sin doing operational so there won't be any interview right sir uh no there is no interview there's no this is not one of those this is like a gojek driver <laughs> we're essentially hiring somebody like a gojek driver right so it's just a temp person to find leads for us. Uh, we don't need cultural fit. We don't need uh, whatever. They just need to be able to to turn in leads. And if they turn in leads, they get paid. If they can't, then we're not going to spend months training and developing and asking this. this oh, yes, I think that's okay. So yeah, it's really possible. And in terms of HR, I think it's easier. Yeah. You just want to skip one, uh, one, one part, which is um, in the okay. interview, right? So yeah, yeah that's okay but we still need some some screening right yes uh very simply uh, uh kiki just screen people who do not have business backgrounds um so if they've come from art or some other thing then probably no um okay. and uh if they're not in bali then no either right they can't do film marketing if they're not in bali oh okay so we prioritize uh it's uh I'm sorry, just to clarify. So we prioritize a business uh, background, right? Should prioritize anybody who has a sales background, right? Oh, anybody okay. with a sales background should be in. But if they don't have a background, send them in anyways. It's it's pretty much test. It's trial by fire. So if they can do it, uh, even if they don't have a sales background, then great. Mm -hmm. um, if they can't do it, they can't do it. It's it's it'll be proven in the field. Okay. Yes. All right. I think you want to talk something. Um, so for people that is not in Bali, does it mean that we screen out them for marketing specialist spe uh, roles or just different? Ah, uh, now the great question, the great question. All right, because I saw there was a, like a UC Berkeley candidate with a data science background in in one of these things. So in that case, uh, maybe direct them to a different role that we have, right? Um, because this this doesn't make any sense. There was one lady in there. I saw that she had like a. Yeah, she went to Berkeley, had a data science background. She wanted to intern, and somehow she applied for this. I don't know why, but um, but in those cases, yeah, if they have something that is a really nice background that you'd imagine would be good for another type role here, then please just direct them to the other one. Yeah, um, otherwise, just screen out. Okay. Okay. Okay, then uh, maybe over to Shin. Shin, is there any additional comments from your side? Um, no, I have a question. So if the flow is screening, set expectations and trials, so is the person in charge of each um, stage or funnel like the same? Should be. Okay. Okay. That's all from me. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Shin. Uh, for Shalin, uh, is it clear from your side? Mm, okay, uh, I want to confirm about the funnel. So um, currently we have, wait, let me see. Currently, we have a distribution post, applicants, and then like we jump right into on-site trial applicants. Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah. Okay, note that I'll modify the Trello card. Okay. Let me just ask, actually, okay, so in this particular case, who is actually covering each <laughs> SLA? So applicants is Kiki, distribution is Shailen, and on-site trial applicants is who? Uh, for applicants, uh, oh wait. So for screening so selection is me, sir. Okay, so on-site trial applicants is you then. Yes. Okay, applicants is then Kiki, right? Yeah. Okay, and then distribution is Shailen. Okay. All right. So be it. Yeah. There you go. Um, okay. Do we need Do we need to post this like other than LinkedIn or just sure. keep it on yeah. LinkedIn? You yeah. Post it everywhere. Yeah. So uh, the goal is to get one person who can do. You're gonna have to screen a lot of people. It's not an easy one to find. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's really different from any other job that's out there. Um, it's a kind of a new type of job. But uh, I would say you probably need to go through at least 200 people to find one person who can do it. Um, does that sound about right, Ara? Before we found Tris, it was about two, three hundred people before we found Tris, right? Um. Yes. Oh. Just to, I, I want to ask the update, sir. So how is Tris doing? Is, is the machine back already? Uh, we got the machine back, <laughs> I think. 
God. Yeah, I think we got it. Yeah, we got it back, but there's some password issues. So we got it back. I don't know why. Um, he came in and he collected his uh, his last month's pay. So he's, he's, he's effectively fired, I guess. Right? So, um, yeah, he doesn't work here anymore. Okay. Yes, okay. So what was your question, sir, about this rose? Uh, how many does it take to get one person in? How many sort of... Wow, it's an uncertain, but it has to be like a lot. Like, a lot, you know, yeah. Okay. Yeah, a lot. Like a lot. <clears throat> okay. So, Shailene, yes, we need to post this a lot before we get somebody who can do it. It's, yeah. Yeah, Good. Shailene? Um, so, if we post it outside LinkedIn, so we should direct them to send their CVs to our email or Google Forms? Uh, I would say probably... Uh, directed to <laughs> where does it normally go? Uh, it normally goes into the job trailer, right? Yes, it yeah. has to go still on candidate tracking. Yeah, and yeah just, just this, that, yeah. So I guess whatever pops up on the job trailer, which is, I think, the website, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, sorry, sir. So, how come? I need to call it for how come in the LinkedIn we direct them to email, but then in the other job post we direct them to our website. I think. Oh, it's I, I I don't I don't think so. On LinkedIn we don't direct them to anything. On LinkedIn they just apply on LinkedIn, and then you can oh. you can probably direct the people you screen uh, after the first screening who are in Bali to apply on the job site, right? So that they can leave a card on the Trello board, right? I don't know. I don't know how it's usually done. Do you, do you yeah, I think on LinkedIn there is no related directly on where to go. Just go to the website that's originally where people um apply, right? Yeah. So yeah, just direct them to the website on the about um join us part. So that's the thing. Okay. And then also uh mm -hmm. just to clarify, maybe to Kiki, please update the requirements. Like they have to be in Bali, right? So mm -hmm. I think that's pretty important to be uh, put on the website. Okay. Me and Shelen will work on that, and we will uh, apa sih namanya? We will update the applica our application form uh, okay. with the new with the new roles, which is uh, field marketing specialist recruitment form. Okay. And Shelen, also be sure to tell people that this role is very difficult, and it, it's it's outdoors, and there's rain or sun. The closest job to this is being a postal worker. Postal worker. Yeah. I think that's the closest job. If you if you were a postman before, wait, why don't we just hire post people, postal workers? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, okay, me and Chelin will work on that. Sorry, I think. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Thank you, Kiki. So we uh, we set the same uh, we set the right expectation in the very beginning by creating the right job description. So yeah. Um, I think uh, yeah. Thank you, Shin, for uh, apa namanya for. No, uh, noting that. So first, uh, just to clarify, yeah. So first, um, uh, me and Charlene will update the job description, of course. And the second one, uh, regarding the recruitment flow, we direct them, of course, to our uh, website, our job page, bookevista.com slash jobs. And then for the uh, recruitment flow, it will be no interview just like a normal screening process and right. after the screening process we will uh apa, we will bring them to the onsite trial application yep. and what i'll do is this uh everyone i'll ask wayana i'll ask rizal ask rizal to schedule the dates on his calendar when he plans to do canvassing and then just simply invite the candidate to meet rizal on the day of the canvassing and that's it that's their onsite interview right Okay then, maybe Shin, you can attack re attack result if it's uh if if you can just attack result to schedule at, uh his time on calendars. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Shin. Hmm, and maybe over, uh to Shalin, you can you uh since you are the project <laughs> for this uh project, you can ask result as well. So, uh, but you can you I mean you can give uh, the update for result and the rest of marketing team actually regarding this uh apa, regarding this particular roles because this is a special case like okay thank you Shalin thank you Shin for um for noting that we can move to the James discussion which is uh BVE talk 
so you can scroll a little bit down no uh, down yes yeah there there okay thank you shin so maybe over to you jing you have these new milestones for interns uh, in participating in our uh, upcoming. Uh, this, one, this one's low. Uh, this one's just kind of a crazy idea I had, but um, this, is, okay. this is for for yeah. Uh, I would I would I would probably prioritize another discussion topic. Hello, Okay. Uh, Kiki, I would probably prioritize another discussion topic over that one. That one's not so not so important. Yeah, um, probably Shin's topic is more important. I'll, I'll yield my okay. time to Shin's topic. Yeah. Okay, thank you, sir, uh, for delegating that. So we can skip your topics for a moment. Over to Shin. Who will be conduct Shin's? <laughs> <laughs> okay, over to you, Shin. Please tell tell us further about this. Um, basically, I need someone to conduct my own, my own, like, my off body, because, uh, my last day, I think, is 5th November, if I'm, yeah, so, um, the off boarding process should start soon, because I need to hand over, uh, my initiatives and my current projects as well, so this is just a discussion, I'm not sure whether, like, or should I delegate it, uh, to a new intern that will be coming in, or, um, anyone here that will do my offboarding and also the Indomies offboarding as, as well. Like, uh, should I conduct the offboarding for the Indomies, like the rest of the Indomies, for example, for Tara and Joseph, or should someone else do it? Yep, so that's all for me. Okay, thank you, Shu, for uh, bringing this discussion. Maybe over to Ara's first. Ara, um, what's your thoughts on this actually? Should she? Um, before, um, before going further, is there anyone that would love to volunteer to do Indomie's boarding? No? Me, me, me. I would. <laughs> he is interested. So okay. <laughs> me, I want to, but I need to discuss uh, this further with Shin, I believe, and probably I will ask uh, some some of stuff for, from you, Ara. <laughs> Yay. Sure, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So yeah, then Kiki will do the offboarding for Indomie. Okay, I'll discuss this later with you, Yashin, yeah? Okay, so I think it's clear. <laughs> no need for the discussion. Let's move to another discussion, I believe. Uh, I think we could discuss BFE Toxic Improvement Ideas, sir. Okay, um, this is a number of, of ideas I'd like to actually suggest. There's, there's more, too. But uh, after doing a BBE talk myself, I realized we actually have a very good product here. Uh, meaning that this is something I think that a lot of people besides ourselves would actually be interested in. So one, um, no other real company I think is doing this. Most of the talks that they organize are regional. They're not international. They don't bring outside talent in. So we're able to do this. So this is actually pretty cool. Um, but there's a few ideas I think that we can do to make it even better. One, currently we direct all the traffic for signups and audience, audience registration to a Google form, which is not great because we should direct it to our website. If we direct traffic to our website, we get the traffic from, you know, what, what, which is always good, pushes up our ranking, and also it gives a chance for people to explore more. 440 people clicked on the link but only 144 registered. Now you could ask the question, uh, why didn't people register? Maybe they didn't know more about the BVE talk or whatever, but if you bring them to a page where they can see previous BVE talks, they can see kind of like the context around it, then there's a higher probability that they will register for the next one. So um, that's a simple improvement. Just bring people to our, our BVE talk page where we can conduct registrations. The second one is the necessity of having a co-host. Now, when I talk to a lot of university, uh, they tell me the same thing. They tell me that, you know what? Um, basically, students don't check email that often. But we actually ask for a registration through email, and we give invitations through email. So a lot of the student groups within the university have access to WhatsApp groups or line groups or Instagram groups or whatever that might be. So I think it's important to have co-hosts disseminate this information so that you can reach people otherwise that maybe 
even if you had their email, you still wouldn't be able to really reach them. So uh, I can't emphasize the importance of having some co-hosts. This is beneficial for the co-host because we're doing something that they can't do themselves. Um, so, you know, it's great. It's like giving them a free event. Um, but it also gives us closer access to their their audience. So uh, let's let's think about co-hosting. The second thing, the third thing is government sponsorship. Now, across Nadim, who's the head of Gojek right now, our head of, you know, the Minister of, uh, of Education, former CEO of Gojek, he probably, his department probably would like this kind of thing, right? Um, bring in outside experts to educate Indonesian students or just students in Southeast Asia. So is there a way we can partner with governments to co-sponsor or co-host or, or, or whatever, just get some media coverage on these events, um, you know, to support developing education? And uh, yeah, and, and media. Uh, the more of these we have, the more I think the media might be willing to promote the event or to celebrate the event or even write about the event. So I think there's a few ways that we can develop and leverage this more. Um, yeah, that's that's basically my my thoughts on on where the e talk could be. Okay, thank you. Interesting, sir. So, just to clarify, for what do you, do you mean by co-host? Is like uh, university uh, or student clubs or whatever that could help us to reach the yeah, the yeah. audience, right? Campus, campus uh, organizations that have yeah. access to a specific audience that is interested in the topic that we will talk about. So for example, at UGM, I just realized there's CFDS, the Center for Digital Society, and that's the group we should go to to talk about, um, I don't know, uh, BVE Talk 7, right? <laughs> or, or I think at SMU, there's one called Smarketing. So SMU Club for Marketing. I'm sure there's one at NTU too. So all these different campus, they have organizations that can help you spread the word. So, so yeah, uh, we should partner with that. With career centers, whatever, right? Just uh, we host it and then they they come. So this is slightly different from before, uh, Kiki. Before they would host it and we would be the speaker. So then they get the platform. We kind of just come as, as uh, talent. But this time it's more like we have the platform and they come with the audience as, as an audience. And that is a bit more a bit stronger than um, than than everything else. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I like that idea too, sir. But uh, to apa ya? But to be host, we uh, I think especially for the for some technical stuff like uh, the room and uh, unlimited room stuff like that. We we we'll just rent a room. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, that's so maybe over to I like I like to hear from Shin. What's your thoughts on this, Shin? Uh, no additional thoughts. Uh, I think all these are very good improvements, especially uh, we can apply it actually for BBE Talk Seven. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I'm uh -huh. thinking like um the direct to website one. Um, okay. Is it possible to create a sign up form? In the website itself. Yep. I think we already did that. For it's already the there. <laughs> oh, it's already yeah. there. It's already there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. For the buffet toxins, we already did that. Okay. Oh, also, so I, so that means every time we, every time we finish buffet talk, we need to, we need to change the app. Uh, see. Yes. The link in the sign up in the website. Which is right? brilliant, right? Because at the end of every BVE talk, you should direct everybody to the BVE talk page again, right? That's oh, yeah, the, yeah, like the last step. Hey, okay. check our, our website. We have BVE talk here where we will be posting the video for the, the seminar okay. that we have today. If you have anybody who didn't see it, share it with them. And we are also are announcing our next BVE talk on the page too as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that is the way you should end every BBE talk so that it snowballs. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir, for that. Um, Maybe over to Aras then. Is there any additional Not comments? Not on my side so far. Okay. okay, then, thank you. Uh, another thing that I would like to add, sir, for the, uh, what is that? 
for again for the co-host from my side actually yes i do agree that students do not usually check emails uh, lately but students especially in indonesia always check uh what is that always check social media so yes. Uh, this organization, career centers, and uh, student clubs and stuff, they are strong in, in, in engagement in social media. So, yeah, it's, that's how we need to reach out to them because when they publish whatever, uh, whatever, progr uh, whatever uh, uh, program that, uh, that they, need to, uh, they need to deliver in the social media, and it's, uh, that's, that's, the, that's the strange it's social media. Okay, yep. and then... For your last question, is it possible to work with government to publicize and promote our event? Um, from from my side, yeah, based on my experience, it's act it's it's actually uh, possible as long as uh, what what is that? As long as we have like a clear proposal, actually, yep. to to the government. So, yep, that's the follow up. Yeah, over to you, sir. I think, okay, has anybody ever seen a wonderful Indonesia sponsorship on an event? That's it, right? <laughs> how, how did they get that, 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 that whatever, right? How did they get that, that coverage? They must have talked to somebody. And I think we can probably get that as well, right? We're helping promote sort of tourism or, or we're promoting education to tourism. <laughs> Okay. Wait, Ara, over to you. So what kind of support exactly that you did? Sorry, is it like um, financial or is it advertising? Or? It's a bit of both. So we want eventually to have government. Um, I don't know. Did you come to the Chandini discussion, Ara, uh, where we talked with the Tokopedia uh, GR, government relation person? Okay. So this is it. This is, this is actually something that I just recently discovered. Instead of actually posting jobs and doing all this stuff, what's actually better is BVE talk. Because what it is, is it's, it's a way of getting the correct type of brand awareness. It's, it's, it's like a gift, right? So you put this gift out and everybody can stand behind it because it's not advertising. It's not like, you know, whatever. There's, there's, there's sort of a, a wider range of interest around it. Because we're giving a gift, let's say to the public, then is this something that the government would like to support? I think so, right? So I guess we can just ask for whatever we need at the moment. We can, we, maybe we can ask for sponsorship. Maybe this can be like a revenue source, right? Like, hey, government, would you like to sponsor um, promoting digital marketing in, uh, uh, education in Indonesia? And they would probably say yes. And they would go, great, okay, all right. Can you give us $1,000 so that we can do this event? And we could almost make it like a it could be its own type of, of revenue generator, right? The other thing is if they, if they like promote us or they connect us to other groups, that'd be great too. Are there any media outlets that normally cover government sponsored events that you would like to invite to our event, right? And then we get more exposure to this event. So that's kind of like the idea. Um, how do we drive this engagement further and further? How do we snowball it? Mm. Okay, um, interesting, sir. I kind of think um, I'm still. Uh, uh, I'm. I. What is it? I'm actually still wondering uh, how to uh, how to do that as well. Actually, we've been doing it already. Actually, yeah. The universities are public institutions. They yeah. are government, right? Yeah. So it's just now uh, a different ministry. So I see. I guess, I guess you can just go, uh, Ara, if you've ever seen the event that was sponsored by Wonderful Indonesia, I guess we just need to ask how did they get government sponsorship, right? What did they do? What did they, who did they talk to? And what were the terms? And can they do that for us? Yeah, I think we can do that. But yeah, it's also some, uh, my best suggestion that, uh, for, from my side, yeah, my best suggestion is we need more like prof professional networking with someone or anybody who actually already conducted. Yep, okay, I'm looking for it now. <laughs> Just go on LinkedIn, right? Yeah, because uh, you know, to know the details, like you know, you, you need to talk to, to the persons uh, who's experienced in, in that, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, that's my best suggestion actually. Um, But okay, we have one minute left. 
and for the rest of the discussion i think we can discuss that on next like scrum which is on wednesday i believe oh yeah over to you ara oh this is actually pretty urgent i would say so by the way guys i'm still in medan i just remember why jin said that i upgrade my house it's because i'm still in medan not back in Asia. so i know this i might need kiki to um up. i would delegate the jogja base operational for a while to you yeah kiki so if there's like anything related to pak rt or anything like that i would delegate it to you yeah okay then okay <laughs> Um, I think that's one another thing to Shelins. I saw that you book a lot of my calendar for trial uh, research. I think the one that have you inside the presentation doesn't need me inside too. So I would probably reject some of the invitation. Yeah, okay. That's pretty much for me. Back to you, Chair. Okay, thank you for uh, for the updates from Aras. So yeah, I think uh, that's pretty much it. Our uh, HR Scrum today. We can continue the discussion, uh, the the rest of the discussion for uh, for the next HR Scrum. I will change the roles for the next Monday. Wait, uh, uh, the chair for the next Monday will be Shalin, and the secretary will be me. That's it, yeah. So thank you guys for attending to the HR Scrum, and for any feedback regarding my chairing today, you can just ping me on Slack. Because yeah, I really 